Hey everybody, it's Frank. I'm at the Atlantic City Show. I'm in the uh, the attendant booth from Poolside Tech, which is uh, kind of taking the world by storm right now. Uh, their, their control system, it's actually smart technology. I'm with Keith Roberts, and Keith is gonna go over some of uh, some of the features that uh, that come standard and a lot of the add-ons that, that we can get on the, uh, the attendant. So, how you doing, Keith? Doing great, Frank. Thanks for having us today. We appreciate you being here. We're very excited about that. So, the attendant automation system is actually a true smart automation system and the fact that we can control any manufacturer's equipment in any configuration. We have the ability to run multiple manufacturer's pumps at the same time. The beautiful thing about that is, there's no upgrades required. So we can run multiple, let's just refer to the big three, Hayward, Jandy, and Pentair pumps. We yeah. can run multiple of them at the same time. But because we're smart, we actually can communicate alerts and errors on that as well and give you some troubleshooting steps. Um, yeah, those, it actually measures uh, uh, voltage or uh, amperage. Whatever the pump is capable of producing because we actually talk to that pump, we're able to communicate that through the attendant. So voltage, amperage, whatever that pump is capable of. And it's not just the big three. No, it's it, not. It, it's it, not. It's, it's pretty I mean, much any manufacturer's equipment. It, and, and I want to make sure people understand this. If somebody in, comes up with a new pump tomorrow and I buy it and I go to put it in, I call you guys and within two, three days, you're like, all right, do your update and now it talks. Absolutely. So there, there's nothing out of y'all's box. No, Every, sir. Everything's in the box. Yes, sir. Everything's so. in the box. The um, Now we do have one exception to that for chemistry and I don't usually jump to chemistry right here, but we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Our main upgrade that we do sell is a chemistry controller. Yes. And we're also NSF 50 listed for commercial products. So we have a residential controller that can work in the commercial marketplace for a residential price as well. On the chemistry? Field. On chemistry and automation. So we are a full chemistry and automation controller for commercial products. How'd y'all put, it takes, I, forever to get in we uh we worked really hard <laughs> we worked really hard to get that handled quickly uh, let me tell you another fun feature that we do though i want to yeah. jump to this uh, we'll go back to chemistry in a minute yeah. actuator control nobody in the industry well, there's a smart valve out there uh, but we actually can take any valve and make it smart so yeah. we have the capability of virtual camming a valve now an actuator so you no longer have to open that box and cam that actuator you literally can do it right in our software you can cam the left and right and it measures by time yes yes like, like it knows this many seconds on this manufactured valve correct this many seconds is this many degrees of turn correct, correct. and uh, it's, so it's it's it really sounds like yeah I'm sure everybody does that no <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, you know, camming actuators is something that we all love to do in the industry, and that is sarcasm. Um, so having this control, the, the service or builder is no longer running back and forth from the pool pad to the, uh, to the feature to see if he's cammed it correctly. He can actually cam it standing there looking at the feature and then watch it move yeah. um, so he can get it set up correctly. Something else we do with actuators, though, is we allow you to split two water features with an actuator. So you literally can turn on two water features and we'll stop that actuator at 50% with no camming and split that flow between them for you automatically. You know, I actually, I, I actually use that feature yeah, on my pool. <laughs> and and I, my, my, like my suction size is a little complicated. I have uh, three suction points. I have right. a baby pool, a hot tub, and then the pool. Right. And, and then I have another pump for my water features and I can select, I use one valve and I can select different water uh, water features because it will shut off at different points. And, I, and uh, you can even adjust different speeds for, for like, I only want to run this waterfall, so I only need 25 gallons a minute. Right. If I want to run both, okay, now I need 50 gallons a minute. And it's in the, the, the attendant actually makes that s pretty simple. Now, right. first time I'm, I'm scared to death. You know? Right, right. <laughs> because nervous, right? Yes. Everybody's nervous because it's something we've new. never seen it. Right, and, right. Uh, but uh, it, after you get to playing with it, it's like it's unlimited what you could do with this. Right. So, like many people's heaters, y'all will actually talk. If there's an issue in the heater, it will give you the alert 
or give you the error code. Correct. And it will tell you what's what's failed. You you hit the nail on the head. We don't just populate an error code. We're going to tell you what that error code means. We may even give you some minor troubleshooting, and we do that with any equipment that we communicate with smartly. So it's not limited to just pumps and heaters. We're talking pumps, heaters, temp sensors, PHORP, salt generators. We report errors on all of that. As far as heaters go, I mean, uh, I don't believe anybody else does this either. I can tell the system, okay, at eight o'clock, I want the heater or I want my spa at 102 degrees, and your system will wait, and because it knows how it knows how big the pool is, what heater I have, how yes. fast it will heat that water, and it will wait until the time it needs to start heating the, the spa instead of me just turning on and wasting three hours of heat or whatever. You hit the nail on the head again. It, you guys, it, it, it waits and says, oh yeah, Frank's gonna be here at eight, let's turn the heater on now. And, and it, what, was it give maybe 15 minutes leeway? Well, no, our goal is plus or minus five minutes. So five we have minutes. a 10 minute window to hit our target and we're really good at doing that. So we do have the ability to predict heating. Uh, what you were discussing is what we call a ready by timer. So in today's world, if somebody wanted to get in their hot tub, they're running their hot tub for two or three hours, and that's unnecessary. Most of the time, a hot tub within an hour, hour and a half, you're gonna reach temperature that you want. So we actually have the ability to predict how long it's gonna take, and we will turn that heater on just in the nick of time, not to waste any energy or gas for the consumer. So we believe in helping uh, the customer save money and energy. And, and th this whole thing, what, what I keep coming to, and, uh, you know, there, there's other manufacturers of control systems out sure. there, but they're pretty much just automated on-off switches, and they're they're not. They don't think for you, they don't plan for you. They it's on yes, off yes. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. And and one of the things that we're really good at is smart technology, right? So we have so many different features and safeties built into our system that that customers are used to having to program. For instance, we can monitor pool cover sensors, right? Okay. And with that pool cover sensor, if the customer had a fountain, you can actually select to protect that and we'll make sure that fountain is never turned on when that sensor shows that the cover is closed. So we don't allow you to sink pool covers like most manufacturers. We know that's an expensive uh-oh, right? Right. So also with chemistry, we'll jump back to chemistry now, uh, we work well with pool covers because we have full control of the systems that are producing the chemicals in the pool. So we know to reduce that output when that cover is closed so we don't create all of that gas right. underneath the yeah, cover. Yeah, lock all that carbon dioxide absolutely, in. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about the chemical feed. Now, it's it's a, a single board. It's an add-on to the standard system. That's correct. And uh, it, it will do sense and dispense pretty much as that's the phrase I always use, I'm sure. What do y'all call it? Well, we just call it chemical dispensing. So we chemical. have the ability to just monitor with a PHORP probe, but if you set up the equipment for dispensing, uh, we can take over full control and we'll completely control those chemicals for your pH and ORP. You have the ability to set up a salt cell and let the ORP monitor that, and we can run that salt cell in an automatic setting and you can create your own dosing tables so that you can bring that ORP level in slowly and make sure you don't overshoot your target. And this is any like sanitizer feed. It could be a cow, Absolutely. cow hypo feed system, a salt system, a liquid, liquid chlorine, chlorine uh, even we a tap feeder, I guess. Absolutely, CO2, it's not a problem. Yep. Uh, yeah. We can run pretty much any system. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we boast that we can run any manufacturer's equipment. Um, a lot of times what we're looking for though is for the customer to be able to buy what they feel is best in class equipment and not be locked into just one manufacturer. Y'all right. y'all have your own probes now too. We do. We, uh, they're coming very, very, very soon. Uh, we will be releasing our own probes. We actually listen to the voice of customers. So yes. we, uh, when we initially came out, we decided to come out with chemistry and we intentionally left probes and the flow cell and the plumbing out of that factor because we wanted you guys to be able to purchase what you want. We quickly realized at distribution as well as cons uh, the builders that they wanted to be able to go into distribution and get a whole kit and walk out. So right. we're in the process of kitting that up now. So you would buy an attendant, you would buy your chemistry board, and then you will be able to purchase what's called a probe kit that will have everything that you need to complete the install. This box can control multiple bodies of water out of one box, and we, you know this for a fact. And that's not an add-on. It's not. It's no, that's not. automatic. It's automatic. Out of the box, it will do this. Correct. 
but this year we actually have released dual chemistry. Because we can control multiple bodies in the beginning, we only had one PHORP Pro. Yeah. So if we had two separate pads, we could just do chemistry on one pad. So we now have what's called dual chemistry. We now can control two completely separate equipment pads and bodies of water out of one box. And the only add-on that you have to purchase are the two chemistry kits. The system that we're standing in front of, it has eight relays. It does. You don't need all these relays for your system. No, we do things if a lot If you do a lot of variable speed pumps, or you can have a hundred lights, you can do whatever you want, and your system breaks it down low voltage, not through relays. With certain lights. Well, yes. Certain lights. So I'm glad you brought up lighting. Yes, so let's talk about lighting. Light. is something that we do that is a lot of fun. We will operate any manufacturer's lights the exact same way they operate them, so we can do that. Uh, but keep in mind, the legacy type of lighting that's out there today requires high voltage relays, right? Right. So if you were doing two to four zones of lighting with another manufacturer's lighting, we would utilize two to four high voltage relays. However, we pair very well with a company called PAL, who manufactures a light called DMX Lighting. Yeah. And most people don't really know what DMX Lighting is. It stands for Digital Multiplex. Yeah. If you've ever been to a concert and seen a really cool light show. Where, the, where like the light chases different and colors. Dancing and dancing, and yes. that is DMX Lighting. It's right. fully programmable lighting. When you pair PAL Lighting with our system and the attendant, we do a lot of neat features with no. it. So it, we it, give you full customizable color shows with a color wheel. You can control the brightness. You can control each individual color, how long it's lit, as well as how long it takes to transition from one color to the other. So you now can have color shows that are slow and fast. You can have some colors on longer than others. But the fun feature that we do is we have the ability to synchronize the DMX style lights by PAL with Spotify. So no one else in the industry can do this. You can imagine an entire backyard with PAL lighting. They do landscape, they do pool, yeah. they do spa. It's unlimited. It is unlimited. Out. And you wire everything into their controller. You bring one comm wire into a serial bus port on our system, and we can control as many lights as they can accept into their controller. So hundreds and hundreds of lights, but you can synchronize those to Spotify, and we can make that entire backyard dance to the beat of the music with the lights. And that is a super fun feature. When I installed my system, I think, I think it was two years ago, when I installed my, I, I took out a Jandy RS16 system and went in with your system. I did have to do two boxes because I have several actuators, and uh, like anybody else, a little bit limited on how many actuators you can do on a system. But I think we only use like three relays. <laughs> and that's incredible today because five years ago you would have had six or seven boxes of relays just Yeah, to and the box everything. would just hum. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, but but when, when I installed mine, I mean, y'all, Dimitri, y'all sent Dimitri out. Dimitri, Dimitri went He's out on my first installation yes, yeah. and uh, taught my guys uh, so we could we could install them uh, moving forward. But, uh, but y'all support I mean, y'all go above and beyond with the support. We really push to be the best support company in the industry. We realize that builders and servicers are losing time and money when they're on the phone calling in for support. So some of the things that we offer up front is we offer training. Uh, we'll be glad to train the team before they ever get on the pool pad. We can do that virtually. But when you're ready to do your first installation, as you mentioned, we will ship or fly an installer. We won't ship him. We'll fly an installer out to, uh, to do that first installation with you and your team so that we can train them and make sure that they're successful and make sure everything's working on that pad before we leave. The second level of that is if you're still not comfortable after you do your first, we offer virtual uh, installation support that we can do through like a Zoom meeting and you would actually be on the pad with your phone. We would be connected at our office and we will walk you through that entire installation process. And of course, when you call in and speak to us, you're speaking to the people that have created and written code and software and things like that. So when you call into us, we're gonna know those answers. We can actually remote into the system, see exactly what you're doing and assist you.